Hello, it's Sarah. And I have a project share today. I've been making artist trading blocks. And these, um, I'm going to swap with Miss D. Hi, Miss D. Um, these special things on YouTube. Um, let me just bring these in the shot real quick. These are some ornaments that I had made last year. Um, I made them with my, um, what are they called? Lawn Fawn stamps. So basically, this is one stamp set. Um, warm winter I don't know what it's called and then I just stamped everything out and I raised some things up and just made a little like little scene and then this is one you guys know these stamps these are gorgeous stamps this is her critters in the Arctic I think oops so I made an ornament with that what's over here another um oh this is actually a oh man let's see paper smooches this is a paper smooches stamp set and I think these trees are actually from like a different an, another stamp set so I just pull like all my Christmassy stamps and just started playing and um, I colored all the stuff with my Copics and just raised some stuff up and everything so anyway those were my ornaments and that was they were kind of my inspiration for this artist trading box so I'm gonna swap with Miss D and we didn't really have a theme or anything and all of us, I knew, see, I'm getting ready for a craft show. So I knew I was going to be making some of those, some more ornaments. So I had my stamps out and everything. So that's kind of what was the inspiration for this box. So D, you don't know which one of these you're getting. One of them was made for you. But then I went a little crazy because I figured I would sell them on my show. I'm going to put this in front of me. So the first thing I thought about was I had seen these little um, trees at, um, Joann's these were so it had the pink and blue colors and yellow So I kind of kept this like not the traditional colors when I colored it So I mean if you look at you know, I mean obviously Christmassy is always the red and green but like so you can see the difference, but it still looks sweet I love it. I'm I mean, you know um, It's still definitely Christmassy too, but of course I got crazy with the um, embellishments But see look I did the teal color blue and like a, a bright yellow for the bird I just stickle everything up and um, so even on this side with the fireplace I kept it I did all the light colors um, the pastel -y colors instead of the traditional um, and then underneath I put this little wood finding as a stand and I put rosette trim and more green to pull the green in and pink and then stickles so but I love it oh oh my god uh, Mary Allen thank you so much she sent me a bunch of wooden uh, findings and look how gorgeous these um, snowflakes are I absolutely love them I put bling in some of them but I basically just uh, painted them white I think I just gessoed them let me see I might have even used a white I don't even remember I've been in a, in a cloud of, of <laughs> crafting these last couple days, but I absolutely love them. And I put this, I never, I end up pulling this pearl trim off of everything. I never keep it on a project. So I kept it on this one because, you know, to kind of look like snow, I have some tinsel trim down there. Um, lots of bling and pearls. Um, so let me see if you can see that, kind of get the whole thing. You can't really get the whole thing in the shot because of the way the angle is of the camera. But it's on a pedestal so that's one that's the first one and of course I couldn't I went crazy with the embellishments as I do but oh my god I love these snowflakes they are gorge but um so that was the first one I made. now this is the second one I made which of course I love 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 more because it's simpler I didn't get as crazy with um, all the embellishments I did it um, I still kept it no did I go more traditional let's say yes I went more traditional I went red and green because this again was from Joann's my Joann's had these and this was even cheaper this tray um, and I just stickled it and put some um, glossy accents on it more bling trim on the top and these little um, flowers I just thought these actually came from Hobby Lobby but I use them all the time this type of a uh, embellishment um, but the green just really matched. So then I did this one. I, I did the same. I'm pretty sure the same um, scenes going around. But I did use red, green, and blue. Like the traditional red, green, and blue. Um, I love this trim. These are those dollar trims from my AC Moore. And this one had a little bit of shimmer to it to match the rickrack that I put around the top. So I like I said, I just tried to keep this one way more simple. 
um, because this one I have pearls and bling and blah, 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 like so much stuff. So this one I just did rick rack at the top to tie in with that a little silver here and silver there and I just love how this turned out. Um, yeah, so I did orange, red, the traditional colors. Um, I just lined everything up per, like see how this one's a little off center. It doesn't matter, but like I just really perfected that one because that was my first one. I love this scene. I had I went back today and they have a buttons pack and there's only one North Pole in it and I didn't like anything else that was in there. Like there were these funny looking reindeer, just like a bunch of weird stuff. So I didn't get another one, but I love this little North Pole sign. That's a button. And of course I had my hats stamp set. So I made, this is the gnome from Gnome Sweet Gnome and I made him a Santa hat. So now he's Santa, um, some snowflake buttons and a Rudolph flying through the air. So I just thought that was adorable. And then last but not least, the um, gingerbread house. And this is traditional colors again. I just stickled and glossy accented things, the windows and the candy canes. And then underneath I did four like wooden feet, a wooden feet. And I colored them, I painted them green, but then I used my, um, the, what is it called? Inca gold. And it's a green, a really light green that I thought matched perfect. So I really love this one. This is like my fave. It's just for the, simpl the simplicity. Oh, and I wanted to mention, again, these are the blocks I'm using. So this is light. These are light. These are hollow. This is what I use. This is from my AC Moore wood photo blocks. So that's what its intended purpose is. It's by the company Nicole. And they're like, I think they were $2.99. Did I keep my receipt? I think these are like $2.99. But this was there too. They're three and a half by three and a half. And this is the other one. This is my Michaels had this kind. I had gotten these at AC Moore before and they have these rounded corners. So that's this block, the rounded corners. Let's see. I did do two with the square. So this is the square corners. You can't really tell. But, um, you guys, these are wonderful for doing artist trading blocks. Okay, so that's the second one. Then, I got the idea to use a votive um, glass, one of these. And I love these. These were at my Michaels, and they look kind of Christmassy and snowy. They were cheap. You know, they were like a dollar, probably like a dollar ninety-nine, two ninety-nine at the most. Um, but I love how this turned out. Now, again, I just, I'm going to, you know what, I could probably go, you know what, I'm going to keep it like this. Um, I did this one with feet, too, but these are those little pebbles that you put inside. They're those glass pebbles for um, decorating a jar, like you just fill a jar with them. And I've had these forever that I used with my mosaics, my tile mosaics and stuff, so I just found some that match the color. So I used them for feet, and I love it. So for a votive, it's nice and sturdy. And then I glue, and I just glued this on with, um, I didn't even use um, E6000. I used glossy accents and it's on there. So I'm really hoping um, that that will stay and um, continue to hold. Um, so now what I did was, I'm going to go away and come back. I put um, the trim that I put on the bottom of this one, I turned it upside down so it was like kind of going up to kind of give the illusion of snow. That's what I was thinking anyway, and I don't know if it does or not, but I was thinking that. I did the Rick Rack again because I love this Rick Rack. I forget where I got it, but it's, um, it's in my bling caddy. I think this is from Hobby Lobby, but it's a big old roll. Decorative trim. I think this is Hobby Lobby sewing notions. I really want to say Hobby Lobby, but it's got this like silver um, thread through it and it's so awesome. It's like a really good size. See, I had this little piece of blue left. I love this too. But anyway, um, that just keeps it simple. It's, it's a little touch of something, but it's not a ton. All right, so this is the side with the reindeer. Let's see if I switched him up. Yeah, because the other ones I did with a Santa. The other, both the other ones with the reindeer, I had Santa with it, but this one I just put the two trees and just made Rudolph the center of attention because what I was thinking with this one was it was going to kind of just be wintry Christmas, not necessarily Santa presents, like classic Christmas. You got it? 
Um, so anyway, and here are Mary Allen sent me some wonderful um, stars that I just stickled up and I stickled up the trees and then this side I put the polar bear and I made his nose shiny and I put a penguin up there and I just stickled the um, igloo put a little bird these are from all different I think this might be from um, No, that's the paper smooches one. This is a paper smooches bird, but I do have a bird from, I think I have a bird from a couple different ones. So, and then I just put a little, that seemed bare down there. So I just put a little, uh, snowflake button. And then this side, it's just the two, um, let's see, I think on this one I put the three. Yeah. And the bird. See how I like have three guys here, the bird and the trees and I'm like big stars. So like that's a lot. But this I just kept it simpler and I did again the, the pinks and the blues instead of the traditional colors and the two trees in the background. And then this one, I put glossy accents on my seal. It's actually not glossy accents, it's a Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Did the same thing with the um, igloo, put the little bird, a little penguin there. I could actually, I think I want to put um, Dimensional Magic on his, because um, I did that on the last one I did on the penguin's feet and his nose and then I put this is like a little snowflake charm that I had in my stash and then we're back to Rudolph again of course I gave him a red nose so it's a votive holder I thought that was kind of a cool idea you could put it out with your Christmas stuff and have a little um, candle light lit up and sparkly and then this is my last one and it's I just glued the um, uh, votive on top I put oh by the way I put ribbon around the bottom of this votive and then I just did um, pearls around the bottom of this votive so but it's stuck so here's my um, see it's just another version if you could see all of them kind of so this one has all three um, and a bird that's the most elaborate this one I just did all three and the two trees with stars and this one I only did two so let's see what I have here turn it so this one this one's the more traditional I don't have that but here's and I did glossy accents him again put a little birdie and this time I used the South Pole or North Pole <laughs> North Pole the pole that comes with um, I think it comes with the paper smooches one with the um, uh, snowman one and on this one I put the see I put the uh, penguin on this one I put the polar bear and then here's Rudolph again and this time I had this little bow and I think this bow came off of a button thing I don't know even where it came from but I saw it and I just put it around Rudolph's neck put a little star a couple stars and a little birdie and then this one, there, this little polar bear, I think he was a button maybe from that North Pole sign. I, I liked him. I cut the shank off the back of him and kind of put him like he's in the background, sitting in the background. So I love that. Um, put a little, um, another button snowflake down here, the little penguin sitting on there, and then that penguin there. So super cute. I went back to... Um, the lace kind of going down again and then I glued it on to um, one of those candlesticks that you can get at like the Dollar Tree so I mean hopefully and I am a terrible bow tire so I mean people can take that off or leave it on or do whatever they want but I did keep the glass but it's just glued to the bottom hopefully it's stuck I'm gonna leave it but I just think they're super cute so that's my Christmassy ones and you can see like they're kind of three different heights because I used wooden feet on that one I used the um, the glass feet on that one a big tall one and this one's like a a piece of wood pedestal thing so they're all all four are like different heights I mean they're all the same and then finally I did make a Halloween one I had I was inspired by my little um, my art doll one but I had some um, Halloween paper out at the time. I could put that away now because I am, I'm trying to get ready for my show. And I have so much stuff out. I've been buying things. So that's like laying here. Oh my gosh. <coughs> so this is just, this is actually the one that Joe made me. I still had 
this set left. So I had the big one, the medium one, and the little one. So I'm going to work on these. Um, I, I made my Tim Holtz ones of this size, but I love them. I'm going to make two more. I don't know what style yet. Um, I did just get some breast cancer awareness um, buttons, and they're really, really sweet. Let's see what they look like. There's just like, there's hearts. It says hope, courage. Um, a heart with wings, love. I just think they're very sweet little buttons. Um, and just thought they could, I might, I think I might do a breast cancer awareness one on this and put a votive in it. And maybe somebody, cause I have one more votive. I think, I think that would just be sweet. I'll use some like pink paper. Um, I don't know. Um, anywho, back to this one. This was at my Michael's and it's by, um, you know that company that sells all the like holiday stuff? I can't think of the damn name. And of course there's a 50% off sign right in the front and then these were on the side so they weren't 50% off but I mean I'm giving them to me 50% off. But anyway, so I thought that just topped it off. These were from last year and they had nothing like them again this year. I went back and looked for more of these because I only had two that fit. So the witch, is, witch on the broom that went with the moon, I put some um, bats and stuff. And then this one was just an owl, kind of like a picture frame owl. And this is just a scene and I stickled things and I popped up a, a raven. And this one's a graveyard scene. I just put some, um, these are um, buttons again and that's the Tim Holtz skeleton. And then this side is just a skeleton guy that I just stickled and glossy accented and put a little skeleton um, and this is a brad but I painted these feet these are the wooden feet and I painted them silver so just cute I just think you know I could have put a votive and I think a votive would be a great idea on a Halloween one definitely and th these votives are amazing these are awesome for this type of stuff because they're blingy and they're cheap so I might have to go back and invest in a couple of them uh, I think that's it you guys um so D if you have a preference let me know. Um, I know which one I made for you. I actually made this one for you. This is my fave because just because, but it's not really because I kind of like the votive one too. And of course, this one's the big old, the big granddaddy of them all. So, I mean, you let me know if you want or because we have plenty of time or this one. I mean, this one's super cute too. They're all cute. I can't choose. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been working on. I think I'm going to come back and do another video of my craft table and show you some of the things that I have for sale but I'll be moving so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not and that's it for now thanks for watching